So we had 20 patients who were started on belgitifan uh, with uh, VHL associated tumors. Um, out of the 20 patients, 14 patients were evaluable and the objective response was seen across all tumors in VHL uh, in 78% uh, of the patients um, with partial responses in 68% and 14% with uh, complete response. And the disease control rate was seen in 92% of the patients with uh, VHL associated tumors across all, um, uh, all kinds of tumors like renal cell cancer, pancreatic lesions and CNS hemangioblastomas. And um, the objective response rate in uh, renal cell cancer uh, VHL associated tumor was seen in 23% of the patients and um, the objective response rate in pancreatic lesions uh, was seen in 53% of the patients uh, with 10% um, uh, uh, being complete response which is uh, pretty good for these patients uh, with pancreatic lesions. And uh, the objective response rate was 23% uh, in patients with uh, CNS hemangioblastomas as well. We also assessed the safety in these population. Um, uh, the safety was uh, documented in all the 20 patients who received Belgitifan. And uh, the most common side effect uh, notice was anemia and fatigue, which is around 65 to 70 percent, and uh, nausea in 25 percent of the population, and um, uh, 20 percent has dizziness and decrease in concentration. Dose uh, reduction was done in about 30% uh, of the patients and uh, uh, one patient had uh, uh, belgitifan discontinued uh, owing to treatment related side effects uh, with a decrease in concentration and also fatigue. And we believe that uh, belgitifan uh, is a potential um, uh, option and a promising, uh, uh, promising um, a systemic treatment for these patients with uh, VHL-associated tumors and it's relatively safer drug uh, to tolerate as well.